Happy Tuesday, everybody. It is time for Morning Manna. Going to give you the word this morning. Good morning. It's a great morning, and we want to get the manna to you. Uh, want to get it to you real quick. Want to put it into your spirit so you can live by it today. Want us you to share the manna. Share the manna as well as know it's the text, the talk, and the takeaway. Got a great word for you on this morning. We want to test your relationships. Want to test your relationships. How often have you wondered about how sure the relationships are that you are connected to? Here is the text to talk and the takeaway of your testing the relationships. Mark 2 and 5. Mark 2 and 5. Now, here's what's going on, and you can always send your hearts, your likes, and, and all of that. Give your comments as well. Want to know the amens out on Facebook, but just want to give you this text here. Here's what's going on. Here is a paralyzed person who cannot get to Jesus. The word is out that Jesus is having house church and the place is packed. They can't get in and here is the response, Mark 2 and 5. When Jesus saw the faith, he said, son, you are healed. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralyzed man, son, you are healed you're forgiven. What's going on in the text? Here, here is a paralyzed man who cannot get to Jesus on his own. Jesus is preaching in a house and the place is packed. There is no way to get this man to Jesus except for some innovative friends that this paralyzed man has. Here is the test of the relationships that you may be in right now. There's three things that you need to test the relationships that you're in. First of all, the first test is, do you have wall climbing friends? They climbed the wall, lifted that man up so that they may be able to get him to Jesus. Would your friends climb a wall on your behalf? Would they lift you up to get you to the things that you need to get to. Here's the second test. They rip the roof off. Do you have roof ripping friends? Do you have roof ripping relationships? They rip the roof off so that they may lure the man down in front of Jesus because Jesus is the only one that can make a difference in this man's life. He's paralyzed. He can't get to Jesus on his own. They climb the wall. They rip the roof. And the question is, in testing your relationships, do you have roof-ripping friends? Here's the third thing. Their faith healed him. Notice what Jesus said in verse 5. He looked at their faith and healed the paralyzed man. Let me say that again. You got to get this revelation. Mark 2, 5. Jesus says he looked at their faith and then healed the paralyzed man. The question is, and the test that you have to ask yourself with respect to relationship tests, are the friends that you are with, the relationships that you're with, filled with faith? Are they faithful friends? Are they filled with faith? Or are they faithless, faithless friends? What's your takeaway this morning? Remember, it's the text, the talk, and the takeaway. The takeaway is this. The next time you find yourself paralyzed, Look around for your friends. The next time you see yourself paralyzed financially, emotionally, physically, whatever the case may be, look around and see what relationships show up to climb the wall, to rip the roof, and to be full of faith on your behalf. That's your test for your relationships. I guarantee if you apply the test and you look around and you don't see anybody, Take a pass on all of those who can't pass this test. May the Lord be with you today. May his face shine upon you and give you peace. Share this manner with somebody that needs to test the relationships in their lives. God bless you. May his face shine upon you and give you peace. I'll see you tomorrow morning with more morning manner. Bye now.